All right, hey guys. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Lumen. Um, if you are upgrading from 426, this is what we're going to do. We're going to open our project settings. And then under rendering, you're going to look for a global illumination. Uh, this is already enabled if you just made a UE5 project. Um, but we're going to make sure to set that to Lumen. You can also set reflections to Lumen. And from here, let's check out some examples that I made. Um, there's also like some shadow stuff and other things. But yeah, let's go. All right. Uh, also, I forgot to say, let's go post-process settings. And you can check under reflections and global illumination that Lumen is also selected. Once you're done that, Lumen is enabled. Unless, obviously, you are on lower end hardware and or under effects medium on your preset. You can see right now, already, there's lumen change and stuff like that. Doesn't mean switching between lumen, screen space, and nothing. All right, now let's see what this looks like without Lumen. All right, this is what it would look like in UE4 if you had just shift with nothing on. Okay. And as you can see, eh, it doesn't look so good. Here is screen space. Uh, you can see if we zoom in on these guys, you can see a little bit of bounce. It's just, it's based on the size of the screen that the glow is on. Where, and then here's Lumen again, where obviously it's more than just screen space. As you can see, we can still see the reflections even if we are not seeing the light source. So it is important to remember, uh, if you're not seeing this, uh, double check that your shaders are fully compiled. That's one issue that I've seen, is people thinking it's not working, but their shaders are compiling. Or they have their effects and stuff under high, so Lumen's not enabled uh, after you obviously check your post-process settings. Okay, here's another example. Uh, I kind of showed it off in my video I made yesterday. Uh, this is using mirrors and such, and then it's just me kind of copying it over to kind of show you that, uh, it, like, if it's a moving light, it does take a second to, you know, you can see it's a couple frames behind the light. Um, as it looks like it's progressively updates it, but you can see, I mean, obviously, it just immediately updates. It's just, uh, honestly, it's just fantastic. Okay, here's my game right now. Uh, this is with Lumen off. Uh, this is just no GI, no reflection. Uh, and so, like, you can see we got some uh, distance field spots and things like that. Uh, this is with just screen space. It kind of changes a little bit, but here's with Lumen. Uh, you can see it just warms up the scene, and it makes it look fantastic. Um, and here's... Here's me moving the light a little bit to kind of just see how we can see it progressively update. And yeah, it just honestly, it's fantastic. The fact that this is real time. I love it. <laughs> All right, so the next couple areas, I'm just going to show you Lumen on and off again. Uh, that's kind of what the rest of the video is going to be, just comparison. Uh, so I won't talk too much over it. I might speed up a little bit of it. Uh, but you can just see like the bounce lighting, the everything uh this emissive glow gets added it just gets boosted the entire scene just there's a depth added to it uh that just wasn't there before and it's fantastic All right, uh, that's going to be it for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to be showing off some more stuff. I'm exploring like the console variables right now and using Nanite and some of the other new features that are here. Um, uh, if you like the video, uh, please subscribe here. You can also watch me live stream uh, UE5 on Twitch. Uh, same name. Uh, links are in the description below. Um,